Hey guys, are you looking to scrape data from the World Wide Web? Are you facing issues in effective ad verification and source automation? Is request getting blocked becoming your biggest enemy in your business growth? Worry not, now is the time to switch to a perfect residential proxy network and solve all your problems related to ad verification, IP blocks, travel fair aggregation and data scraping. Hi, I am Vashish Kapoor from CorporateBloggingTape.com and today I am going to talk about Oxilabs. Oxilabs is the top or say the biggest brand in the residential proxy industry. If you need rotating proxies, a data scraping tool or an ad verification solution, Oxilabs helps you out. So let's go ahead and talk about Oxilabs in this review. So in this Oxilabs review, I will be talking through Oxilabs pricing, Oxilabs features, dashboard overview, how to sign up and create a proxy user, implementing Oxilabs in one of my favorite data scraping tools, using Oxilabs in your terminal with a command, and what exactly is Scraper API and how it works. So guys, let's first see the product details and sign up for a free trial. They define themselves as the top tier infrastructure for web data collection. So the proxy network and scraper API are the top products by Oxilabs and they have a new, a cost effective proxy solution called shared data center proxies. So these shared data center proxies start from just a hundred dollars per month. And the residential proxy plans start from $300 per month and the cost per GB comes to around like $15. It reduces as you keep upgrading your account to a bigger plan and you can use the residential proxy network for like $9 per GB with the corporate plan. But that is only possible when you are using and paying $900 per month. Okay, so let's start with the free trial and see how you can sign up for one. Do not forget to check out the description of this video for the special link for you guys that can get you a 15% discount on your first transaction on Oxilabs. So check it out now. See on the top right of Oxilabs homepage, click on sign up. You have the option to fast track the sign up process by using the sign up with Google button. Let's type in the email and password and click on continue. In the next step, you need to input your account information, fill in your name, surname and your company name. Also type in your phone number and the correct country code and click continue. Next describe your use case. You can keep it short and to the point. Now click finish registration. Before you can log into your Oxilabs account, you need to verify your email. Click on the activation link in your email inbox that you receive. When you activate your account, you will see a confirmation box like this. Here, you need to choose product and the pricing plans to start using Oxilabs. Now, your dashboard will look like this. All products are in a box with their description, starting point of pricing and the way to get it. To buy residential proxies, you simply need to click on buy now and choose your pricing plan and continue. But to use SCRP Scraper API, you will have to chat with the Oxilabs support team. So let's buy residential proxy plan. Click on buy now here and choose your preferred proxy plan. For this video only, I'm choosing the starter plan, which is $300 per month. You can choose the business plan to reduce your cost per GB traffic. You can further reduce the cost by choosing a bigger plan, but to get it, you will need to contact support. And I choose the starter plan and this box appeared. So let's click on agree and proceed. You must read this then only <laughs> click on agree. So next you get to the checkout wizard, fill up your address. This is for the invoicing purpose. Make sure you check the amount because for Indian customers, there will be 18% GST added to the cost. So as you can see, when I switch to an United States address, the cost is exactly $300 per month only. You have two ways to make the payment, credit card or PayPal. For US customers, there is one more option called pay near me. So I choose credit card because I find it easy, but you can choose either and click next. So in this screen, you need to you know review your details in the next screen. Once ready, click on this confirm subscription checkbox. 
and then click on buy now button make the payment with the chosen method and you will be ready to use the residential proxy network upon successful payment you will see the thanks for order screen and this looks something like this now you will be prompted to set up the residential proxies you need to click on let's start button in the next step and you need to create a user and set a password for that next up you will see a screen like this which says you're all done there is a basic command like request that you can use to access the residential proxy pool now let's let's learn how to you know set up residential proxy this is a little different from other proxy providers so to make your first request using oxylabs residential proxy you can utilize your terminal on your mac os device so open your terminal and paste this command here in the above command a query to ipinfo.io is performed from a random ip address so if you need you know to run this query with a specific you know country ip you can run this command adding sys id parameter with session id string for example sys id dash abc12345 will enable session control so this means that the proxy will not change with the following requests so if you keep hitting multiple times with the same session id then the ip will not change so for example your initial query with sys id dash random one two three got assigned proxy ip address this is this as long as you keep sending new requests with the same session id and that ip address is online and available the system will route your queries through that ip address so do you really want me to you know create a tutorial for other prox products of oxylabs if yes please drop me your request in the comment box and i will bring up a video about that so using the oxylabs dashboard is also pretty easy you can easily see the network user details right here in your dashboard when you go to residential proxy statistics you can filter out the user details for a specific time period you can also see how much traffic have you used using the residential network and also how many requests you have sent to the residential proxy network if you want to add more users to your residential proxy plan you can do that from here now you will go to new users and type in a username and choose password if you want to limit the traffic you can do that too once you are ready click on create ip whitelist is also very important thing when it comes to using residential proxy network if you do not want to pass the user credentials for every request in the command you can simply whitelist your own ip or your vps ip in which you will be adding or integrating the residential ip edit whitelist and here you can add multiple ip addresses that you trust and once you are ready you can click on submit it is a very important task and once you do that you won't have to you know pass these credentials in your command it would be running without uh, the username and password so this is really really nice thing and to use the residential proxy network in my browser i'm using ghost browser i can set up several identities with different proxy networks and let me guide you how you can do that too so simply install ghost browser in your pc go to ghost proxy control and click on add or edit proxies click on add a single proxy type any name use the host uh, de-pr.oxylabs.io which is you know uh, a country specific host url you can add any of these i have given a list of it and i will add the link to this section in the description of this video so make sure you put the correct port number as well so if you if you already have whitelisted your own ip address in oxylabs you do not need to you know input the username and password here so cl simply click on add proxy now you can go to identity manager and click on create identity this is very simple type a name of the identity choose the proxy you just created and click on save you are now ready to use the proxy in your browser simply go to identity manager and see the identity you created and click on add icon before that so it opens a new tab with a different color and this tab now uses your custom proxy 
so you can just uh, create multiple identities with different different proxy configuration for example different countries and you can use the different proxy ip in different tabs at the same time using this process so to test the proxy simply open ipinfo.io and now you can see that this tab is using a germany ip address so talking about the reviews and customer experience i found it very convenient and straightforward in terms of pricing and usage they they also worked on the needs of customers and recently launched like shared data center proxies that start from just hundred dollars per month and at the time i'm making this video oxylabs has a 4.6 star rating on trustpilot 89 percent excellent reviews and only three percent bad reviews so in my conclusion i can say oxylabs is a reliable proxy provider scraper api is a unique product that you can you know use for your data scraping needs I really recommend Oxylabs over the competitors because of its ease of use. You can easily use it in your Python scripts, terminal based automation programs or in a web browser that supports custom proxy configuration for example Ghost browser. There is extensive documentation also that has a hands on guide for integrating the residential proxies with scraping tools, multi login browsers and automation scripts. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and take advantage of the free trial offer. And do not forget to check out the video's description for the special link for you guys that gets you a 15% discount. So check it out today. So guys, this was it from my side about Oxylabs review. If you have any question, you can drop me in the comments below. If you learned something new in this video, please like this video. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe it and it will, you know, boost me up and motivate me to do more helpful videos for you.